Metaphor Refantasia is a new Atlas IP, releasing this year. It takes cues from Persona in its design and gameplay. Maybe too many cues. I conjured up a similarity chart to see if this should have been rebranded to Persona 6. Make sure I'll attack that subscribe button for more Persona and Metaphor. This game shares a lot of the same developers. For instance, the character designer, Shigenori Sojima. The designs are obviously going to look Persona-esque, but that's a given. He has a really recognizable style. I'm very impressed with the designs either way. Sojima has never made a bad character design. Not to mention the menu design. Oh my god, this is beautiful. Glaze Fest over, the character designs are pretty similar. It's difficult not to call the gameplay similar since most JRPGs follow the same formula, however, the menu placement centered around the character is a takeaway and the archetype skills just seem like a cover up for personas. The synopsis being a person awakening their potential as magical weapons. Apparently, all party members can swap their archetypes for different builds, without a doubt similar. Outside of battle, you can interact with other characters through hanging out and ranking up. Sound familiar? It borrows the confidant system from Persona and... Discord moderators are raging over the fact you can't romance anyone. Boo hoo. The portrait UI was also implemented, with the art looking beautiful. The game's director, Katsura Hashino, confirmed the game would be a more difficult experience than Persona, which is a breath of fresh air from Reload's difficulty. It adds real-time fighting as well, which usually isn't built upon in Persona games. Style and theming is an important part of Persona. Metaphor style is apparent through every part of the game. It uses tons of different colors. Opposed to Persona, the game doesn't stick to one theme. The menu layouts, however, are extremely similar, with the calendar system returning as well. As for the story, we really can't say much yet. It'll definitely take a less psychological approach. It's nothing like we've seen before. There are more medieval themes akin to Dark Souls, with unique areas to show this off. This is kinda unfair, but is it just me, or do the maps look eerily similar to Persona 2? This is honestly one of the last comparisons I could find. I don't have much to work with here. Design dungeons return, and it seems they've learned from Persona 5 that actually designing dungeons was a good idea. Who would have guessed? They seem to be more focused on battling since there's tons of dead space to run around. If you're a high enough level, you can fight enemies in, within the overworld too, making grinding less of a pain. They also incorporated the same skills into the game along with weaknesses, but that's a given. So here's the burning question. Is Metaphor a copy of Persona? It's more like SMT and Persona combined. Definitely not a copy, it has its own identity, plus ton more features piled on. If you're interested in Metaphor Refantasio, tell me why in the comments below. Thanks for watching to the end, make sure to auto attack that subscribe button, I'll see you in the next one.